Hey everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Genuine Vlog. This is another episode that we just released to showcase past to Jarvis. So I'm in my Google Colab on the left-hand side. I have this coding folder that's empty. And then what we're gonna do today is use the voice command system to help me analyze the class grade distribution. So with that being said, let's run the code. Hey, how are you today? Hello, I'm here and ready to assist you. If you have any questions or need help with something, feel free to let me know. I'm trying to simulate the class grade distribution. What do I do? That's a great project. To simulate the class grade distribution in Python, you can use random number generation to create grades for each student and then analyze the distribution. One common method is to generate random grades based on a particular distribution, such as a normal distribution. Would you like me to provide you with a code snippet to help you simulate a class grade distribution in Python? Yeah, do it in Python. This Python code snippet generates a class grade distribution based on a normal distribution with a mean grade of 75 and a standard deviation of 10 for 100 students. It creates a histogram to visualize the distribution of grades, allowing for customization by adjusting the mean, standard deviation, and number of students. Feel free to run this code in your Python environment to simulate and analyze the class grade distribution. Let me know if you have any questions or need additional help. Execute the code. The code successfully executed and generated a histogram representing the simulated class grade distribution based on a normal distribution with a mean grade of 75 and a standard deviation of 10 for 100 students. The histogram visualizes the distribution of grades among the students. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Yeah, can you save the picture? This Python code snippet generates a class grade distribution based on a normal distribution, plots a histogram to visualize the distribution, and saves the plot as an image named classgradedistribution.png in the current directory. Running the code will provide both the visualization and the saved image for later reference. Let me know if you have any further questions or need additional help. Yeah, execute the code. The code successfully executed, generating a histogram visualization of the class grade distribution based on a normal distribution with a mean grade of 75 and a standard deviation of 10 for 100 students. Additionally, the image of the grade distribution was saved as classgradedistribution.png in the current directory. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Thank you. End the program. You're welcome. If you ever have more questions in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a wonderful day. So there you go, guys. This cell now finished running and it took about four minutes. That's what you see here. And then let's analyze the conversation a little bit to wrap up this video. So in the beginning, I said, I want to generate a class grade distribution, uh, but I didn't really give a whole lot of instructions. Uh, the instructions uh, purely come from the large language model. Uh, it initially gave me this code. That's why we have one script here. That is a Python script that is being created uh, based on the large language model prompt and output. So 
I executed uh, eternal that there's nothing being saved. So I had to ask again, say, hey, look, can you save the picture? And then it actually updated the code. It wrote a new one. That is the old code. Let me show you the code that's being generated as a new code. So this is a new code being generated. It's written as new Python script. And then here it says save fig. And this line of code is added to the uh, old version uh, to be able to save that picture for me. So that is all done by natural language just to talk to it. And that's the technology that we are at right now today, uh, which is that voice command capability. And it updated the code for me, uh, ran it. Uh, when I say execute it, it did run the code and it created this PNG. Um, this PNG is created and plotted on the right-hand side. I can display it visually. And that is the distribution that I saw. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully this episode sheds some light of what kind of future we're walking into. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like.